Hello everyone, I'm Cymatics, and we are here with episode 5 of Fears to Fathom, Woodbury Gateway. Getaway. Not Gateway, Getaway. Woodbury Getaway. I don't know why I would think it was Gateway. That would be dumb. But, this is apparently going to be the last chapter of the game. No parking after snowfall. Fantastic. Let's go in. New game. That's gonna be great. Fears to Fathom, episode 5. Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Okay. Alright, what do... Needed a coffee to get done with the day. Well, can I check on the, the computer? Browser. What do we got? Search. Uh, do Samatics. Search. Oh, well that sucks. How about me, Bigfoot? Uh, you fears to fathom. Nope. All right, I guess I'll just leave the browser. Well, I should probably get that cup of coffee in there. Oh, it's very late outside, and also inside. That's a nice car. Well, where's the coffee? Very excited to see where the coffee is. Am I actually at my job? Just, I couldn't leave just yet. Had to get coffee. Well, I have no idea where the coffee is, so sorry. Is this where the coffee is? Is this the break room? I feel like this might be the break room. Coffee? Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Is there a cup? Is there a, there's a chair there, that's nice. Aha! Hmm. Well, there's milk. Milk me. Oh, wait, there's cups right here. That's, that's wonderful. Oh. Uh. I needed water. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Interesting. Well, let's get the water. Let's get the water. It's going to be great. We're going to pour the water into the machine. And we're going to put the cup in. Right. Here's a little cappuccino. Fantastic. Starting the machine. Let's watch this. Smells great. Smells even better than great. It's currently turned off. I'd like the milk. I'd like the milk. Milk. Come on, I drink my coffee milked. I like milk in my coffee. Oh, darn it. Ah, cream. That'll do. I never had coffee without creamer. Fantastic. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and drink my co I needed to put a lid on. Ah, uh, yes, I need the lid, the most important part of the coffee. Here's the lid. Nice. Got some steaming hot coffee. Needed to use the restroom with the coffee. Well, there's a supply room. Well, I'm not sure exactly where the restroom is. Is that the restroom? Well, I guess I probably should have just walked around. All right. Where's the toilet? Oh, uh, I see. Well, I guess I'm just going to continue drinking the coffee. Hello. Using restroom. This is happening now. Uh. Am I good? Someone's in here. Someone's in here. You don't want to come in here. Someone's in here. I swear if I see someone creeping on the outside, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm gonna be very upset with you. I have a coffee. Hey! <laughs> Hi, sir. Janitor. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. Yeah, did you not hear me taking a piss? <laughs> you working late again? Yeah, well... You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too, sir. <sighs> 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 
Thank you, sir. Can I wash my hands? Thank you, my god. I knew someone was gonna be out there. You just continue doing your job, sir. You just continue doing your job. But I need to get more work done. Apparently, I'm the only one here right now. Choose your drink. Well, we got press fizzy, press mountain pew, press red cola, press energy boo, press prep C, or press Dr. Fizz. Dr. Fizz, why not? Uh, well, we got this. Throw in the coffee. Me, oh, come on. I need to make sure that the janitor is okay at the end of the day. Oh. Any. Hello? Ha ah, ha! There we go. Scroll to open, drink. What if I drink? What if I drink without scrolling? I'd open it. Dang it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah, fantastic. Well, time to get back to work. Who's on the phone? Oh, is that my cat? Oh, I love the cat. Hello, Gopher Cindy. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hi, Mike. I've been trying to call your cell for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? I yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I... Nah, nah, nah. I... It even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... Uh-huh. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. I uh, work, it's, uh, it's been overwhelming lately. I just, you know, like, I, I got, I gotta do things. And, you know, when you start doing things, it's hard to put it down sometimes. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing oh, I yeah. called to cheer you up. Yeah, and you're totally not slowing my process. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do it after work. I'm sorry. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be oh. nice to catch up. Yeah, that would be wonderful, Mikey. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Nora, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds very good and platonic even. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Fantastic, thank oh, you. Uh, wait, one more thing. Yes, sir? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. All right. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Oh, that's fine. I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Yep, I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Talk to you later, Harp. Yeah, talk to you later. Hanging up. Well, I guess I should probably do the thing. What? Rent. Oh, rent. Renting. Okay, searching. What do we got? Find your place to stay. Where are you? Go. Oh, we're going to Woodbury Search. What's. Well. Ah, darn it. 350 a night. That looks like a good cabin. 249 a night. That's a very good cabin. 199. Okay. That's a. That is alright, sure. Ah, 99. I have a feeling that the only option here is this one. Three stars out of five. That's great. We're booking this. Three guests, two bedrooms, two beds. 1.5 shared bathroom. Z. Book cabin. Prints out the thing. Fantastic. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but 
I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but the expense of my mental health? I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. All right, thank you, Mikey. Two days later. Oh! Hi. Oh, hi, 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 hi. To hang up. Afternoon, quite chilly today, eh? Yes, sir. I've seen you around, uh, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. Nice to meet you. Uh, you're on the uh, tenth floor, right? I'm on eighth myself. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the uh, tenth floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Oh, me, I'm a software engineer. What about you? A uh, consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Uh, anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries uh, before the snow starts. Uh, you too. Absolutely, thank you. Uh, pulling into the parking garage. Hold on. All right, we got Rick Wilson. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Is that Mike? Hi, Mikey. Are you gonna be voiced? Harp. <laughs> That's great. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. <laughs> Fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Chuckle, long hug. Fantastic, this is good. You look good. So do you, Mike. Uh, you could just throw yourself in the back and we'll get on our way. Thank you. Thank you, Mikey. All right, let's go ahead. Well, do we have, where's the stuff? Anyway, I should probably read these now. Uh, hi, Sydney. Uh, thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're really looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time's 3 p.m., correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. Message from Michael J. Carter. Yo, Harp. How have you been? Mike, I'm literally so tired. I was just about to uh, turn in for the night. What about you? Not much, just keeping things afloat, my friend. How's work at uh, the new firm? Pretty much the same as the old job. Uh, just coding my life away. But the pay is better. Anyway, I've been thinking about our chat from earlier today. Oh, Mike, like, I really don't know. Getting away sounds fun, but it'll be so much work to get packed and leave for the weekend, and all I'm going to do is think about the work I should be getting done at the office. Listen to yourself, Harp. We're talking about taking a nice, relaxing weekend getaway. 
I haven't had a real break in ages. Mike, I'm not even sure I remember how to relax anymore. I work all day, and when I get home, all I think about is the work I didn't get finished. It's hard to just unplug, you know? And that's exactly why you should come. Think of it this way, Sydney Harper. You're like a battery, full of power and productivity. But what happens when you run the battery too long? It loses its charge. We've got to put you back on the charger, Harp. You'll go back to work after the weekend with more energy than ever. 20% more productivity, I bet. Come on. Who knows? Maybe you'll thank me later. Plus, Nora is really excited about it. It really wouldn't be the same without you. Sorry, passed out last night. Damn it. Fine. All right. I'll, I'll check in with HR and let you know. Take your time, Harp. But just know that whatever you decide, we're here for you. All right. And then we got uh, December 8th, 8 p.m. Yo, Harp. Your cell keeps going straight to voicemail. Everything okay? Call me back. I'm getting a little bit worried. Just booked. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me. Please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Alright. Now we're completely caught up. Where's my bag? Ah! Here we go! I got the bag! I'm really happy that nobody stole this while I was reading my messages. Sorry, Mikey, I was taking a little bit of time to read. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Road trip on our way going forward for probably hours on end with only nothing to talk about except for how work's been kicking my butt. Uh, 4.26 p.m. Oh, where are, are we already uh, checked in? Oh, it's... I'm in the car. That's nice. It was starting to snow. Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Funny how that works. Change is just so hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never un- Oh, whoa. Uh, Rick Wilson, all right. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? We consult! Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What? Did you see that? See what? A school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. Someone's idea of uh, turning it into a tiny home on the wheels or something. Oh, wait, what? Oh, dear, oh, my goodness. Oh, snap. That was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross her path is like getting a message from the universe. Interesting. I mean, I believe... Is that the sun? Probably... Hey, hey, hey. It's very bumpy. You sure you know how to drive? You certain? Okay. Anyway, uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. And I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. How far is it now? Uh, should be about an hour and a half from here. You know... Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. 
It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I kind of also need to speak with Rick. Ah! It's kind of beautiful. I mean, yeah, you're so, you're absolutely right, Mikey. Can I please? All right, and now we're cutting over to the next thing. But I wanted to read the things. Dang it. All right, but it, it, I was right. It is, we're about two hours late to our, to our destination, which is probably fine. It's just, we're, we need to, we need to check in. 5.14 PM. Now, are we certain that we're going into a completely safe place? I mean, obviously it's safe because I booked it, you know, but you know, like it could, it could go wrong, you right? Oh, wait, whoa. Uh, Moe's Pizza. Oh, we got dinner. Fantastic. I apologize. I didn't realize I needed to uh, read your stuff quickly. I was dawdling. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you. These new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too! Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Get out! So we're actually, like, gonna be very late to, uh, pick things, uh, pull- Can I please- Can I- Enter! Alright, well, for, first off, we got cheese, that's three books. Veggie, four books. Uh, salami, four bu- Oh, hi, hi, thank you, Mikey. Uh, Mo Special, not sure. Mushroom, six. BBQ Chicken, five. Calzone. What are you waiting for? I'm reading the menu. Sure, the the Come on in, Harp. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Zer, how's Zer? How are you doing? Um, cool. That hi, sir. Hi, hi. Watch it. Watch it, dude. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. All right. Uh, good to know. Thank you for letting me know that I should get the cheese. Hey, sir. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. Yes, yeah, sir. You fine folks know what you want to eat? Uh, we'll get three slices each. Uh, I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. Uh, for you, miss. Let's do cheese and only cheese. All right, what's your second slice? Uh, cheese. Third? Cheese. Any drinks for you folks? No, sir. That should cover us. Just the pizza today. Thanks. Alrighty then. That's six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Pay. Fantastic. We got pizza. It's gonna be wonderful. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Thank you very much. Well, let's go ahead and take a seat. Hi. How are you? Fantastic. Ah, we have more uh, messages. Okay, that'll be good. Uh, well, all right. Uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text uh, from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. Uh, the roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know it when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. Uh, we're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow sh slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay. Please confirm when you check in safe travels. And then we have friends three ever. Oh my God. Did you guys hear about the Taylor and Bra Baxter? Let me guess. 
Baxter got her pregnant, and now they're planning a Star Wars-themed baby shower. I could just see it now. A birth announcement that says the Force is strong with this one. Mikey. <laughs> uh, did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't uh, get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you're the biggest nerd I know, other than Baxter. He would totally do that. This is so cute! All you need is love. Aw, oh, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again. Right? I also thought they were cute. I remember uh, Taylor telling me how they met at the Beatles tribute concert on in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college uh, friends are moving on with their uh, lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass and revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Blah. Seriously? I feel you, girl. May as well put it in a bed in my office because I feel like I live there. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. And I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Can't believe it's been a year since last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind as Baxter for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house this winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe? We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'll be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we get high. I'm sure one of my old contacts could come through. That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Think about it, Harpy. A weekend away from all the stress, no work, no deadlines. It'll be a girl's trip, but with Mike. <laughs> you say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll get back to you when I think it over. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in. But there better be wine involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Uh, not the kind of wake up and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'll be so good. Harp, would you mind taking the lead on booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me? Book the cabin? I suppose I could do that. I'm excited. Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal, kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know, let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Yep. Nora, that's no problem. We will make sure to get something reasonably priced. We've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes it, it makes me sound well cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get going, okay? Okay. Let's do this. <sighs> it smells so good in here. You're so right, though. Cheap say- Uh, well, we got design caretakers. Ooh, friends. Uh, Nora. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. All right, thank you very much. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. 
What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Weed? Probably weed. Weed? Order number 27, you folks are right here. All right, thank you very much. Oh, wait, yeah, you're gonna take the pizza. You're gonna take your pizza, I'm gonna take my pizza. Thank you very much, I wish I... All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. All right, we should probably eat, right? <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Yeah, I it's it's just so wonderful. Maybe I should have gotten something other than cheese and cheese only, but, you know, that's what the guy recommended. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Yeah! I mean, I even- I eat the crust. The crust is tasty. Kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? I mean, no, but it's bread. It's bread! It's very bread! It's incredibly bread! All right. Oh, wait, whoa. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, uh, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Oh, uh, really? Uh, y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Uh, just heading where the road takes me. Uh, I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. Uh-huh. Uh, so wh wh what do y'all say? Uh, care to give this uh, free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Sure, you can come with us. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car, I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. I mean... Are, are you threatening us? No, 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 y'all caught me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Thank you, old traveler. I mean... Uh, it's not really my car. It's not really my decision. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. All right, Dad. I mean, I can't really say that he seemed harmless. I just... He, he asked me, so like, I... And that's, that's what I would say. Well, all right. Maybe not. Depends on the situation. Really depends on the situation. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's get up. Alright, let's throw that out. Friends, Nora. Holy, that was good. I think someone's trying to get past you. Alright then. Uh, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see, if my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'll, I'll drive so you can have some of a break. I'm afraid of uh, what kind of a break you're going to give me, Harp. Just give me the keys so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition, which is... 
I get first choice of bedrooms win, or if we get there, deal. I'll take the keys. All right, let us head out. Only one of these doors works. Bam, let us head out. Good evening, Vermont. Oh no. This is your host on WKWB. Ah, uh, yes. Station, Let's just drive. Oh dear. On this chilly night, as uh oh. We embrace the first snowfall of the season. There's nothing first like snowfall, the really. Song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Come All right, Will. Ah. Stay tuned. Hello? Anyone out there? I'm pretty sure that I'm almost there, right? Pretty sure. It was very, uh, very slippery out here. Oh, we got the woodberry. We got the woodberry. That's the nicest thing. That's very nice. We got woodberry up here, which means that our cabin's gonna be very soon up. I drove past our cabin first. Well, how was I supposed to know that that was our cabin? All right. Well, this is the, this is more like it. Let's get up here. Ah, there we go. And this should be it. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Uh, so did I. Okay, are we good? All right, there we go. It was a quaint house in a quiet neighborhood. Yeah, I can, like, I see that. How quaint, how, how nice and comfortable, probably. All right, door's locked, had to get the key from the lockbox. Hold left mouse button to slide uh, space to get back. Okay, there we go, slide open. Uh, what was it again? It was five... Hold on, what was it? Five, one, seven, six. Actually, I... I was gonna get very close to it. Five, one, seven, six. That should be it. Aha! There we go. We're gonna take the keys. Keys to the house. Fantastic. Now let's head in. Hello! I should probably let the, uh, the dude know that I'm here. Mr... What was his name? What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mikey. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? There should be enough space in the fridge. Sure thing. All right, well, we're gonna throw that. The house was cozy and well furnished. Huh. Well, uh, where are the groceries? Were the groceries up here? I think that the groceries were over here. All right, there we go. Open the fridge. We're gonna toss this in here. Oh, we actually get to place things. I uh, had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. Well, I'm not exactly picking up the mini fridge. I'm picking up the milk. I'm picking up the eggs. Very nice eggs. What are those? Uh, no idea. That's probably either peppers or proteins. Uh, pick firms, bell peppers. Well, we got those peppers. We got the frozen gurt. We got let's. All right. Well, that should be everything. Mikey, where are you? Oh! 